Django is one of the most preferred Python web frameworks for creating web apps due to its wide range of functionalities. But when it comes to integrative interactive charts, the common solutions developer use is an excellent JavaScript libraries like chart.js, d3.js, aim charts, and so on. This requires learning JavaScript and the charting library syntax, which can be a bit of an overhead. Now, Python has a bunch of data visualization libraries like Plotly, Bokeh, Altair, etc. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could create charts using one of those and include it in our Django web app? It will free us from learning JavaScript. Well, that's what is the main aim of this tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain how to integrate Plotly charts into Django web app. We will create a single Django web app that displays an interactive candlestick chart created using Plotly for the selected stock ticker. So first of all, let me show you how the app looks like. All right, so here is how our final Django web app will look like after we have included a Plotly chart. So it's a simple one page web app. And on the left side, I have a sidebar where I have displayed list of uh, tickers, stock tickers. So various company names are listed and these links are clickable. So when you click on particular link on the right side, the chart for that uh, OHLC chart or candlestick chart for that particular ticker will be displayed. Apart from chart, I am also displaying other information like the name of the company, what industry, sector, what is the last close price and change and so on. And also small summary uh, explaining the business of that uh, company. So apart from Django and Plotly, I have used a front-end framework bootstrap for setting up the layout of this particular web app. And for retrieving financial data, I have used the Yahoo Finance Python library. So that's our web app that uh, we will create in this tutorial. So let's move on to code explanation part and then I will bring up the server and show you how the actual app looks like by interacting with it. All right, so first of all, I have created a Django project by executing command Django admin start project plotly underscore integration. So this will create a new Django project and it will create all these files. And after creating the Django project, I have created one app named stock dashboard by executing command python manage.py start app stock underscore dashboard. So it will create a files which are there in stock underscore dashboard. So I will explain you the files that I have changed. So first of all, I have made changes to the urls.py of the main plotly integration. So this is the main entry point URL file of our project. And over there, I have modified this uh, first path. So I included. So if there is a request for the home page, I am calling this views index and this views is uh, defined in this stock underscore dashboard app that we created. And other than home page, if there are requests with uh, ticker slash uh, URL, so this pattern is followed, then we are including URLs of uh, stock da dashboard app. So let me show you the URLs of stock dashboard app. So here is the urls.py which is over here in stock dashboard and over here I have declared uh, app name and there is a simple path over here. So ticker name. So whatever ticker name will pass and for handling the request for that particular ticker, we are calling the views display ticker function. So display ticker function will be returning our dashboard or the web app that we have created and the name is again a display ticker. So anytime there is a request for slash ticker slash the ticker name, then this function will be called. So let me show you the views.py file where I have declared various views for handling various requests. All right. So at the beginning of the views.py, I have few imports. So I'm using Yahoo finance file for retrieving various uh, finance related data, which will be historical OHLC data and the information about the company as well. Then I have imported pandas and from plotly.graph objects, I have imported uh, graph objects as a geo. And this will be used to create our candlestick chart. And from plotly.io, I have imported two underscore HTML function. And this is a very useful function which will be used to create our plotly chart into HTML, which then we will include into our uh, HTML page. So next, after various imports, I have declared the tickers which will be displayed in the sidebar. So these are the tickers or character tickers are generally there and the names of the company for that particular tickers. And then after declaring these constants, 
I have first declared first uh, function name index and this function will be called whenever there is a requ request for the home page so if I go over here as you can see whenever there is a request for home page views dot index will be called so that's what happening over here now what whenever this function will be called I am directing this request to this page display ticker function and I am giving parameter APL so whenever there is a request for home page I am simply redirecting that request to slash ticker slash APL page so that uh, ticker for the first uh, the OHLC chart for the first ticker which is APL in our case will be displayed so for a home page there is nothing there I am simply redirecting request to the APL page next I have declared a function to retrieve the stock data so what I, I am doing over here is that uh, first of all I am calling ticker and creating a ticker object so this ticker is from yahoo finance and the ticker name is <coughs> given over here and this ticker object has attribute name info and this attribute is a dictionary so that's what i am retrieving over here and this dictionary has information like uh, what is the name of the company its industry sector what is the summary and so on the information is available as a dictionary so that information i am returning from here and apart from that information i am also retrieving historical data so for that i am calling a history function and period you can give various uh, values over here string which can be in months so if three months six months one year five year and so on and for that period of data it will return the historical ohlc price and that's what i am retrieving over here and returning from this function so for this uh, tutorial to make it easy i am only retrieving last three months data next i have declared a function name create candlestick chart and this function takes a historical df data frame that we retrieve using previous function so over here i am simply creating a ohlc chart so i am creating go.figure and then i am calling inside of that go.candlestick function and there i am giving various values open high low close prices and dates and then i am returning this figure so this function will be used to create our candlestick chart and next is the most important function of our tutorial and that's the display ticker so this function will be used uh, will be used to handle all the requests so first input is uh, first parameter is a request parameter and second is a ticker so over here as you can see in this uh, stock dashboard url i have declared ticker display ticker and that's what will come over here for that request so first of all I call the retrieve stock data function that we declared retrieve historical data and information of the stock then we create a candlestick figure using create candlestick chart by giving it historical data frame and once we have created this then we call the most important function which is two underscore html which we imported from plotly.io and to this function we give candlestick underscore figure so our uh, plotly figure object and then I have set full html to false because I don't want to display only chart on that page I have some uh, uh, some sidebar and some other things around that chart so I don't want full HTML I want the script or the chart HTML in a single div so that's why I have set uh, full HTML to false and then there is a parameter name include plotly JS so for those of you who don't know uh, how plotly works it's a based on a JavaScript library named plotly.js and in order to include the plotly chart into our Django dashboard we need to include script plotly.js and that's what this parameter does if I set this parameter to true then it will include that uh, script uh, in this div and it will make this div unnecessarily long which will because it's around 3 MB file and uh, so you can set it to CDN as well and what this will do it will include a link to script and from that URL the link on the script will be downloaded and executed and it won't be included in this chart.div and then you can also give div id so this is very important function to html which will return a div wherever ohlc or candlestick chart will be created and then in the next line I am simply retrieving the latest price and uh, calculating the change in the close price from the previous day after that I have declared a context so this uh, information will be given to our page the so tickers are zip of tickers and name so list of tickers and their names will be given company names 
our current selected ticker chart div what is the name of the company industry sector summary of that uh, particular company what is close price change in the close price from the previous day and what is the percentage change so all this information will be given to the particular page and that's what i am doing over here i am returning rendering of that page which is a ticker analysis and this page is inside of this folder stock dashboard so that folder is over here stock dashboard and over here there is a folder named templates inside of that we need to again create stock dashboard uh, folder and inside of that ticker analysis.html is there so this file now which i will explain next uh, will be our dashboard and it will use all this information to create our final dashboard let me explain you the code of that file all right so here is the content of our ticker analysis html file so in the head first of all i have imported a bootstrap front end framework so the link to the script css and javascript script is over here next is the styling detail so you can include this styling detail or you can omit it because i wanted to modify the scroll bar size that's why i have included this script even i have copied it from the internet so just wanted to reduce the side of the scroll bar and that's what i am doing over here and next is the body so the most important part of our this html file first of all uh, i am loading the static files in my case there is no static file so it's optional then i am declaring container so first div which is the main div of our web app and inside of that i am declaring another div name row so this will be the square of our app and uh, square or rectangle whatever you say and then there are two divs so this first div which is called three class so this div is for our sidebar so it will use around 25 percent of the available space to create a sidebar and then remaining 75 percent of the space will be used to display the candlestick chart so let me show you what is the content of uh, sidebar so for the sidebar first of all i am displaying the header which is analyze ticker which is h4 tag and then i am looping through tickers which if you remember we passed a zip of tickers and the name of the companies so for each ticker i am simply creating a link and this link is ticker slash the name of the ticker so ticker slash aapl ticker slash msft whatever the company ticker is over there that particular link will be created so when you click on this link it will go to that url and inside of that simple card is created to display that ticker so that's our sidebar where list of tickers will be displayed now let's uh, move on to the main part so this is the main part where 75% uh, of the space so where the chart will be displayed so over here first of all there is a header which is a stock analysis dashboard and then there is a row where i am displaying four things so first is the ticker name and the company name then next is the what is the close price and what is the change in the close price so normal change and the percentage change both will be displayed and this will be colored uh, based on the presence of a dash so if the change is negative then it will be colored with red color and if it's a change is positive then it will be colored with green color so that's what is over there next i am displaying industry and next to that there is a sector that i am displaying over here so that is the first row which uh, is getting displayed above our candlestick chart so let me close that and then i am displaying the summary so the summary of the company so what business it does so four or five lines will be displayed about that uh, summary and sometimes the summary is quite long so i am truncating it at uh, 500 characters and next after that is our chart so there is a div card i have created for displaying our chart and in order to include the chart i simply need to call this so this is a django template tag and i am giving over here chart div and i need to give this safe so what happens is that if i don't give this pipeline symbol and safe it will display the html at is it and it won't interpret html so in order to interpret this chart div is html we need to give this uh, safe uh, parameter after this pipeline so that's uh, our web app 
So let me bring up the server and let me show you by interacting with the web page how our app looks like. So in order to bring up the server, first of all, let me start the terminal. So the code for the dashboard or our Django web app is present in this folder plotly integration. And in order to bring up the server, I simply need to execute command python manage.py and run server and this will start the server so as you can see our app is getting served from this particular url so let me copy it and let me go to web browser all right so that's our web app so as you can see uh, when i go to this uh, particular home page so let me try that again if i go over here as you can see it's uh, redirecting me to this uh, url ticker slash aapl so ticker slash aapl is our first ticker so by default it gets redirected over here and as you can see various information is getting displayed name of the company last price change index industry sector and the ohlc chart or candlestick chart as well so let's try a few other companies yeah, so as you can see chart is updated and all other information so candlestick chart is updated the company summary and the name industry all is updated so let's try a few more companies and yeah so as you can see uh, i was able to create this uh, simple app using django and i was able to include our plotly chart in it so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time.